Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Today, got a few things to do. First things first is I'm gonna make some coffee, and uh, I have I think one client to train this morning, so I'm gonna go do that, and then we're gonna work out, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna work out, and we're gonna do chest and triceps, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but I didn't because I came home after a long day of work and fell asleep really early. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. I, mean, I forgot where the stuff is at. <laughs> I know. Uh, I need this, and I need this. I need coffee. Every morning, when you wake up, you should always drink water before you start doing anything. Have you drank water today? No. <laughs> I have a six pack. Okay, let me. <laughs> so? <laughs> if you don't have a six pack, you should drink water before you do anything every day. I'm just kidding. You should always drink a lot of water. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this really quick before I consume anything else. I'm gonna drink basically two bottles of water, which is about a quarter of a gallon. Are you zooming in on my face? Okay, I thought you were zooming in on my face. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be off the freaking wall. Okay, I need a spoon to get this out. Do you know where the spoons are? Yes, they're right here. That's not a spoon. That's not a spoon. Boom, good job, babe. Do you know your sure. shapes? My shapes? Spoon is a shape. This looks like your head. Shut up! No, it doesn't. It looks like an egg. Egg head. I'm gonna hit you with this camera. Uh, I was supposed to work out yesterday. I did not work out yesterday. You said that already? No, I said that in the last clip. Yeah, no. But I didn't say that in this one. It was a new clip. Okay, well, now we gotta start over. This is honestly what vlogging is like. Guys, if you ever wanna get into vlogging, it's not perfect, you gotta start over. Sometimes you have a girlfriend who can film for you, but. Choose your next words wisely. But choose your, choose your videographer wisely. Because uh, sometimes your girlfriend is good at being your girlfriend, but she's not good at being your videographer. Good job. What's up guys, so today I'm doing chest and triceps on uh, Andrew Tausch's program. I'm going to just kind of stretch out my chest a little bit. Also, this is a really good like warm up for anyone who has like shoulder issues, like rotator cuff issues, or just a good warm up for like a good shoulder day or your chest day. You get like a band or a broomstick or something like that. You just go back and forth. I know we do a few passes of these before I start like an intense shoulder day. Alright. Let's get into it. So, rep ranges are 10, 8, and 6 for the incline dumbbell bench press. Incline dumbbell bench press works out the upper chest if you didn't know that. But I'm gonna start with this. We'll go from there. 80 pounds, 10 reps. I'm gonna superset the bench press with the tricep extension just for the sake of time. I normally do this if I'm short on time, so. Next super set, I'm gonna go from the flat bench press to the skull crusher. So, the incline bench press is normally a little bit harder to do. I feel like that was, that was like really in my face. It was. And, uh, I don't know, but start off with that one, you might not be able to do too much on the uh, flat bench press. We'll see how it goes.
I don't know I'm so tired today, man. I'm really tired. Whenever you're doing a bench press, you don't want to lock out your arms. Locking out your arms takes the tension off of your chest. But I lock out my arms and I'm getting too tired. I can take a slight breather before I go into my next rep. Ah, this bar, it's called an easy bar. Next thing we have is standing dips. So we can do these weighted, it's optional. Oh gosh. This is what balls feel like. <laughs> Stupid. That booty. My bus is working holding this up right now. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. <laughs> Stop. What you got now? Huh? I got three sets of that. Kevin, what are you doing? I can't take it off. Leave me alone. <laughs> it won't come off. <laughs> Should we go heavier? Mm, I did 15 just I don't now. know how easy it was that. Absolutely. So this is the way I like to train. If it was easy, then you can go hit. up. The maximum number of reps pretty comfortably, you should always go up. Always. Sometimes I'm a little too ambitious and I can't even hit the minimum, but I just hit 15 pretty comfortably. The, the max is like, the rep range is 10 to 15, so I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna grab even heavier balls here. <laughs> hey, look at this heat taper. Uh huh. That's crazy. It you is crazy. Get, you gotta get that back shot. I did. That's a, that's a crazy beat. Mm hmm. Alright, let's do it. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. My shoulder's kind of weird. Look, look at him go. Look at him. Muscles by Musgrove. That's Andrew. He sent me these. Oh wait, is this the same video? Oh, it is the same video. He saved it. Oh, flex. It's crazy how much my lats have grown is bench dips, which I also still don't really do. But these are actually really good for your triceps, not gonna lie. I feel like these activate your triceps better than, than those do. The regular dips. But what you do, you gotta put your hands on the seat. You walk out a little bit. You can straighten your legs if you want. You go all the way down as low as you can. And you push up. Push up rep ranges is 30. 25 and 40. Uh, I don't know if I should add weight to this or not. Should I? I don't know. I'm gonna do the first set just by itself to see how it feels. And if I can, I'll add some weight to the last set.
I'm not gonna lie, I don't see myself adding any weight to this. Why? Because I'm like fatigued. What's up? Start off with 10 pounds in each one. So this one's one of the ones you don't need to go heavy on. You really just need to focus on the contraction. So it doesn't really stay on there, but when you do these, you want to squeeze, push over your, your wrists, and hold, like hold it as tight as you can. And then come back slow. When you do this, you want to think about bringing your elbows together, not your wrist. So I see a lot of people do this, and this isn't keeping the tension where it needs to be. So focus on the elbows, bringing your elbows closer together. One more set of those. Stop them. Last thing for the day is pike push up and then 10 minute cool down. Yeah, I'll show you really quick. This is how you do a pike push up, guys. Just in case you're wondering. Kind of like this is a kind of like a regular push up, but. Instead of like having your body flat like this, you have your butt up and then just bring your triceps down. Oh. So. Oh. I got it now. That's a pike push up, guys. Okay. Dopeness. Okay, Becky. <laughs> ah. Those are no joke, man. I feel embarrassed. Mm-hmm. It's all those show muscles. It's all those, I got, <laughs> what's, my, what's my slogan? You got show muscles, not go muscles. What's up guys, so uh, a few things I would like to touch on, finish with the workout, um, also I got a new haircut, what's up y'all, <laughs> I just got the pedo stash, uh, but <laughs> basically it was a really good workout, it was hard for me to do it, I'm a personal trainer, so for me to say that, you, you know it was a good workout, but uh, that being said, I would like to say that a workout is really only as hard as you make it, um, I said somewhere in the vlog that um, the way I like to train, I like to train in the 8 to 12 rep range and if I can hit 12 reps comfortably or if 12 is my max repetitions for that set um, if I can hit that comfortably then I need to go up and wait right you should not be able to just not be easy it should, the workout should never be easy if you want to gain lean muscle and start burning fat why are you going to take it easy this is not it's not something you take easy you need to take it more seriously than that but it was a really hard workout I really enjoyed it I've done things in this workout that I haven't done in a in a very long time actually like for one, I've never done a pike push-up, so that was really challenging for me to do. Um, even though like it, it's <laughs> like Andrew made it look really easy, and I struggled doing it. So that's I don't know. That's I, I felt uh, you know took a shot of my ego there a little bit. Um, the 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 dips and things like that those are really challenging. Uh, but overall, it was a really good workout. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm I'm sore, <laughs> so I'll be feeling it for a couple days, I'm sure. But that's really basically it. Really good workout, guys, and um, what, what's his what's his slogan? Get get tough, get tougher, stay tough, get weird stuff, get weird stuff, be tough, get muscles. <laughs>